Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to combine all of your DLC and updates into one file for your Nintendo Switch games for use in all Switch emulators. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you a better way to do all of your updates and DLC into one file. Anytime you want to use a new Switch emulator, it'll already be baked into one. You can see here I have a base game. This is the old way. You'd have to right click on your game in Ryujinx, manage title updates, then you would have to go to add, then we'd have to find our updates, so I would go into my Captain Toad, here's my update, hit open. Now I've got to click on it, hit save, it updated. Now I've got to right click, manage DLC. Now I've got to add my DLCs, I've got two down here. I'll hit open, select them both, save. Now my DLCs are installed. And that's just the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna show you a new better way and then anytime you have a new Switch emulator, or you want to transfer, it's all baked into one file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to the Swiss Army Knife GitHub. We're going to scroll on down. Now I'm using 64-bit Windows, uh, but there's also a 32-bit version here. So just click to download the 7-zip file. Once you have it, it's going to look a little something like this. Uh, if you don't have 7-zip, I'll link that in the description. You're going to want to right click on your 7-zip file, go to 7-zip, extract here. It's going to extract the sak underscore 64-bit folder. We're going to open up that folder and start sak.exe. There we go. So depending on if you're using XCI files or NSP files, completely up to you. Uh, you can convert if you so choose. Today I'm going to update mine, so I'm going to click Update NSP, and I'm going to open up my base ROM. So today I'm using my Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. My base ROM is version 0. Open. Now I want to select my update and DLCs, so I'm going to hit Open. And I have my update file and my two DLCs. I select them all at once, hit Open. Update NSP file. Now this doesn't take too long to do, but basically what it's doing is baking four files into one, and now this game will always have the DLCs and the updates currently installed. You never have to go and reinstall them all over again. So there we go, we're done there, we'll hit OK, and we'll close out for this game, close out the program. Now inside of our Swiss Army Knife folder, it has created a file and this one tells us we have one game plus one update plus two DLCs. So I'm going to take my file, cut, I'm going to go into, I'm using Ryujinx as my emulator, put it in my games folder. And now when I open it up, I have my updates and my DLCs already installed. Everything's ready to go. And this file is complete, so this will be my new game file, and I can get rid of my other four files. All four of those files are baked into this one. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.